today we are continuing our southern France trip to Provence. And Provence is really well known for lavender and we are here in June so of course we had to come see the lavender fields. We picked up our rental car in Nice and drove about three hours out here. We're just outside the town of Valençol. There's a few different areas in Provence where you can see lavender. We're gonna be driving around the Valençol area for the next two days. The tolls out here were about 17 euros total, so not too bad. Not cheap, but also not too bad. <laughs> And our first stop is this beautiful sloping lavender field. I was nervous driving out here. We saw a few smaller fields and they looked purple. Um, usually the purple starts showing up mid-June. We're here June 19th, so I was worried they wouldn't be very purple yet. But as you can tell, they're a beautiful purple color. They will get darker as the season moves on. Usually the first week of July is a good time for that super dark purple. And then mid-July, they start harvesting. We have wandered through this first sloping field I would recommend start it parking kind of at the cool at the entrance you'll see people parked further down but right when you turn off I'd park there because then you can pick a row to walk through without having to like climb over them and you don't want to ruin them of course because this is the farmers crop and they are going to harvest them later we are gonna head over to a shop to check out some of the lavender products from this field and maybe find some ice cream We have visited three fields and three stores. I'll kind of give you the pros and cons of each. They're all within like a mile of each other, just outside of Valensol. The first field was my favorite. It was the prettiest. I mean, it'll depend on the time of season that you're here, I guess. If you're early in the season or later, how dark of a purple it is, but it felt like the most purple field and it was truly a field. It was huge, lots of space to wander, get really cool pictures. The first store that we visited, Le Grand Marge, um, was small. It mostly had food items. Uh, they had some interesting drinks that I feel like other places didn't have outside, and they had ice cream. So they, we tried some lavender ice cream there, and it was really good. We loved it. We're definitely gonna get some more on this trip. But inside was mostly like olive oil, nuts, things that were edible but also kind of big and we wouldn't really be able to bring home with us. The second field was um, Terra Roma and what was interesting about this field is they had different rows planted with different varieties of lavender with signs. So you could see the differences in colors and size and things with the different um, types of lavender and they had them labeled so that was kind of cool. And they have a big field with the Terra Roma sign in it. Uh, you could take some pictures there, try and crop out the sign a little bit just depending on how you're framing your shot but I it wasn't my favorite the store itself was bigger um, felt like it was a little pricier but they had some really cute postcards like art print kind of style so I had to get some of those the third field is Lavande Angla something like that <laughs> I'm working on my friend's pronunciation um, this store was awesome I felt like the prices were really fair they had a wide variety of stuff that I hadn't seen other places uh, the second store it felt like they had a lot of things that I had seen just in Nice even so this store felt more unique and we got this super cool diffuser that I'm really excited about and some got a lavender lollipop we're gonna try and a cute towel so the fields here again are not very big uh, definitely can get some different unique views i think but our favorite thing was the food truck here it had actual food and i had an amazing goat cheese salad i was super impressed it was seven euros it was pretty small but it was good i had some leftover chickpea salad from the market in con yesterday and nephew got a sandwich for six euros so really is really affordable and surprisingly really good for kind of being in such a touristy area um, I would recommend eating here if you're hungry and need some real food to fuel up. 
So if you are doing this over multiple days like us, you know, stopping and taking your time makes sense. If you're trying to do it all in one day, I would pick, uh, you don't have to go into every store, you don't have to stop at every field. So hopefully these pros and cons help you in making your decisions and what you're gonna do on your trip. Next, we are going to head in to Valensol and just visit the town. We've been here in October and so we've seen it not really open. It was very empty. So we're curious to see how it is in June. On our way here to Valensol, we saw another really pretty bright bluish purple field, so we had to stop. Um, I'll include all the GPS locations of our stops that we made at the field so you can find them. The colors and the size and everything will depend and vary year, from year to year and what you know time of season it is and such, but just to kind of help give you some information. Valensol is a pretty small town. You don't need a ton of time to explore it. And they're really the prettiest, best part is the fountain and the beautifully painted boulangerie that's actually closed, but it's just these beautiful colors. Uh, you can see the fountain and maybe hear it a little bit behind me. So we spent some time wandering the village on Mondays and Thursdays at 5 p.m. They have a lavender harvesting demonstration that you can visit. We tried to go, but we couldn't figure out where it was. And then also on Mondays at seven, they have a washing, like a clothes washing demonstration in the old wash um, tanks. So we are hanging around for that. And then we're going to try and visit one more lavender field here, just outside of Valensol before we call it a day. drove outside of Valensol again to try and find some more lavender fields that are in bloom. I forgot to mention that I have kind of pulled together this itinerary from a blog post that I read from Le Long Weekend. I will link it in the description. We haven't really been able to find um, any other fields this direction south of Valensol that are a pretty color and in bloom uh, or they've been removed. So we had, we checked a few different spots and just haven't really had any luck. We finally just kind of stopped here and are enjoying it. It still smells beautiful, looks beautiful. It's just not that deep purple color that we'd seen at a few spots earlier today. We're staying at an Airbnb here in Valensol. We stayed here in October when we came previously and it's a private room in a shared house, but Tarek and Lucy are awesome. We would highly recommend staying with them since we are back visiting, we're celebrating and they are making dinner for us. So we won't be eating out tonight, but enjoy the time with our friends. I will also include the link to the Airbnb here. They have two rooms now, so it's super affordable, super nice, very really conveniently located to when you're just out in this area. This is only day one of our lavender road trip. We will be back tomorrow looking for more lavender fields, so go ahead and subscribe, and we will see you next time.